monopropylene glycol. It's a colorless liquid that is used in industrial coolants, detergents, and de-icers. It's also found in most store-bought brownie mixes. While you throw up, I'll play the intro. Now, the FDA said that it's completely food safe, but there's something unsettling about food companies putting unbelievable and unpronounceable stuff in our food. And seeing how my pancake mix video was successful, I think it's time we do the same thing for brownies. And for the people who dislike my pancake video, don't worry. Using Aunt Jemima pancake mix does not make you racist. Just lazy. Now, for this recipe, grab yourself a nice large six quart container or six liter container. Huh. They're the same amount. Well, how do you like that? Anyway, make sure it's large enough because a lot of things are going to go in here. Now, add four cups of cocoa powder. Wait for a moment for the, all the dust to settle. Three cups of white sugar. Three cups of brown sugar. And finally, one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. Snap the lid on. Shake it to combine. Give it a few moments for the dust to settle. Stash this away until you're ready to use it. Like right now. Now grab three and a half cups of our brownie mixer and put it in a separate bowl. Try your hardest not to inhale some of the cocoa dust. You're gonna be sneezing out M&Ms. Now set the oven for 325 degrees. Do you owe more than three pieces of Bernie Sanders memorabilia? Well, the number you're looking for is 160 degrees Celsius. Also, let's prep our baking pan for our soon-to-be batter. Grab yourself an 8x8 baking pan, spray it with non-stick spray. Ugh. Make sure the nozzle is pointing in the right direction. And let's slap on some parchment paper. Now we're going to combine everything in a stand mixer. Add four eggs into the mixer. Mix them on medium until they're all nice and smooth. Once it looks like this, turn the mixer down to low and slowly incorporate our brownie mix. down the sides of the bowls. Man, this batter is really thick. Mix it one more time. Now let's dump our batter into our pan. Stick the whole thing in the oven and let it cook for 45 to 60 minutes. <laughs> Once it's done baking, take it out of the oven, lift it out of the pan with the parchment paper, and cut it into nine pieces using a pizza cutter. That way the brownies cool off quicker. Mmm, a homemade brownie made with homemade mix. It's much better than the store-bought version but it will still kill you slowly. This has been Chase Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun and meaning it this time. <laughs> <laughs>